Hello, now our word for today is satisfying. Now let me ask you this. What is the most satisfying thing for you? Things that can make your eye roll 180 degrees vertically. Now, some of you might say blackhead removal. The goal is not to get to this point. If you get large blackheads, they can potentially leave behind these holes that can be scarring. So to minimize the development of these blackheads, you want to use like a retinoid, alternating with a salicylic acid and or glycolic acid. Getting a good grade? Or maybe even some oddly satisfying video such as this. Well, that's good and all, but I'm sorry, but that's weak shit. And I'll, let me give you some real stimulant that could make caffeine and cannabis look like baby food. Because when you ask me what makes my eye see my brain, it's pathetic pranksters that spreading hepatitis C, hepatitis cringe, getting clobbered by karma. And oh baby, I've got a hefty set menu for you. So without further ado, let's start with the appetizer. So this is the first whack ass prankster we're gonna cover. And his name is Jay, and he does some stupid freaking pranks such as this. Chupapi Munyano, Chupapi Munyano, Munyano, Chupapi, Chupapi, Bichotaso, 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 Bichotaso. Uh, yo, bicho paso. Yo, yo. Chupapi. Chupapi, chupapi. Oh. <laughs> now it's a good thing that this is not just his pranks because it is capital L A M E. Now there are some pranks that are fine, but most of them it is unfunny. But this is the most proudest moment of him, I believe. Now what you see here is him using his whispering tube. So he is whispering Chupapi Munyano to random bystanders. So what does it mean? So it essentially means suck me daddy because the word Chupa means to suck and Papi means daddy. It's a play on words so they mixed it up and said Chupapi. While Munyano means nothing based on research. So is that supposed to be funny? Is that your idea of comedy? What a sad pathetic idea that was. You know why that man reacted like that? It's I don't think it's the loud sound. Uh, I, I What I think happened is his halitosis is so bad from all that cringivitis in his mouth, it traveled throughout the tube and managed to activate that man's fight or flight mode and that's why he got clobbered <laughs> well yeah it gets views but it just annoys me so much that why be a nuisance to innocent random people you know maybe wholesome pranks work because you do not know the struggles of other people so giving them a little genuine smile or happiness is a very helpful thing but it's a different kind of evil where you actually add stress to people on top of their struggles like why is clout more destructive than drugs? Now while he is very much a crackhead, he is just an appetizer because here comes the entree and I have a classic dish for you. You gonna kiss my ass? Excuse me? You gonna kiss my ass? You're playing around, right? No. Think you're tough, bro? Think you're tough? Huh? You gonna kiss my ass, bro? Kiss your ass, you bumped into me, dude. We're gonna kick your ass. We're gonna kiss your ass. No, no, not kick my ass. Kiss my ass. Like I'll bend over. So this bozo is coming up to strangers asking them if they want to kiss his ass. <laughs> Again, is that supposed to be funny? Like, oh, you wanna kiss my ass? Then kept pressing people. Yo, what the f bro? You alright, man? You alright? What the f he just you just bumped You fucking bumped on me, bro. What the f bro, why are you bumping into me? You wanna kiss my ass? Why? Why would I wanna kiss your ass? Bumping into me, what the f You wanna kiss my ass? What the fuck is wrong with you, man? Hey, you gotta watch man. your mouth, man. I'm gonna ask you one more time. You wanna kiss my ass? Yeah. Uh, did your nuts switch places with your brain? Like, what an ultra lame prank. That is a recipe for assault waiting to happen. 
Sorry, I spoiled it. You guys look like a couple of fine gentlemen that want to kiss my ass. You guys want to kiss my ass? Up, nigga. I'm just asking you. I'm just asking you an easy question, Back the brother. Fuck up, Yo, I'm just asking you. Do you want to kiss my ass? Up, Back the fuck up, nigga. Yeah, we all know what happened next. Damn. Yeah, wait, did I get punched? I didn't even feel like I got that punch. Damn, I got fing knocked out quick. Holy shit. <laughs> 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 Holy shit. Yeah, I didn't even feel like I got that punch. Holy shit. That just happened. Oh, that's cool, man. That's cool. That's what I expected. Oh, so what do you think is gonna happen, huh? Does he want to kiss your ass? Nah. The only thing that kissed is your jaw to that dude's fist. Because let me tell you, he can now take a deep breath with his nose blocked and his mouth closed after that wallop. Because that punch is so hard that it left a gaping hole into that guy's lower cheek. And let me tell you, it is disgusting. But unfortunately... He, it didn't beat the guy who got shot for his harassing pranks. Okay, now time for some intermezzo. A palate cleanser, but not really. Because we got a luggage prank. Getting random people's luggage and claiming it as their own. As pranks. No, no I watched you with the camera. Bro, chill out. What? Go shirt. Listen, I can't Let go my shirt. I did call you. Hold on, Okay, stop pulling me. Stop pulling me. Stop pulling my hair. Stop pulling my hair. Lame. But it is an, a palate cleanser nonetheless because the victim here is the one who got arrested. Don't touch me. Don't touch me, buddy. Don't touch me. Put the I didn't touch you. Don't touch me. 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 Don't touch me, sir. So why all of the ultra super mega lame pranks? Like it is not even funny. It's not even like fear inducing. It's just annoying. Very, very annoying. Now all of the stupid losers that I covered today got the short end of the stick. They got very unlucky. Well, they deserved it for sure, that is very true. But I do admit that some of the people that retaliated kind of overreacted a bit. But then again, it's the prankster's responsibility because they are the instigator, right? They're, they're your victims and you shouldn't blame them for whatever happens next. Because the worst thing you can do is play the victim, blaming them for getting riled up because of your stupid pranks. So basically, your boy just got manhandled. We messed with the wrong person. He actually ended up being like a serial killer. So we actually got him arrested. So. Now, I'm just kidding. He was just a regular old angry white man. Basically, what happened was he was just attacking me and my filmer, and the police showed up, and he ended up still trying to attack my, you know, my cameraman, Aaron. Aaron, how did you feel about it? <laughs> it was ass, dude. He really tried coming for me, but he was not going to get me. See, so basically, it did not end well, and the cops ended up tackling him, and then the cops asked us, like, hey, do we want to press charges and stuff like that? And we we're like, nah. You know, we're not one of those people. We're messing with him. We're not going to, like, ruin his life, even though, you know, he was yanking your boy, smacking your boy, pulling him like he was a dog. So he is self-aware enough to recognize that what he did is ultra ass. And he actually had the grounds to press charges, which surprised me. But the white dude actually continued his madness after the self-defense part. So that actually will warrant assault charges. So, you know, your boy's been in the hospital, you know, recovering from that hair tug. You know, my head was on fire. So I'm back now and a little better. And I just, I'm not gonna lie, I just need you guys help to comment down below and just say prayers for Canel. On the bright side, as long as you guys know my pranks are fake, I'm not tripping. So, so he did suffer some repercussions from the hair pulling and saying that pray for him. Well, the only thing that I'm praying for is that no one should ever look up to what you just did. And lastly, I pray that no one makes your last statement their life motto. As long as you guys know my pranks are fake, I'm not tripping. So well, that's a punch to the moon, I guess, because I don't see this plague stopping anytime soon. And I'm guessing that it's just gonna be a whole lot worse. Time for dessert. So here we have another irritant that's causing discomfort and hepatitis cringe. I'm gonna go up to those people right there. Hey, I left my glasses 
Do you know what time it is? It is 5.56. Oh, it's so it's off. Like, that one's it says five. It's off? What does that say to you? Maybe his eyes are off. It says like it's time to get your number, right? What? Now, I don't know exactly what he is showing to them, but I bet it's some kind of picture bullshit. And this centipede is actually very, very lucky because that very, very large man has a very, very soft heart. He's just smiling. And you know, at first glance that he is not a man of confrontation, but I guess the other large man is. Go. Wait, wait. What do you, why do you get all up on me? Why are you Go, pushing you me? You need to get away from What are you doing? No, you need to get away from I just asked what time it was. You gotta watch. Chill, oh, brother. Stop. 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 You already hit me in the face, it didn't do shit. It didn't do shit. Did he day at church, I guess. Tough guy. Give this man a round of applause. He officially lost five brain cells because of that punch. And he actually did admit that it hurts and his face hurts for a while because of that punch. You already hit me in the face, it didn't do shit. It hurt. It didn't do shit. <laughs> Shitty day at church, I guess. Bro, my face was hurting for like a week later. He punched the shit out of me. Like, all I remember seeing is like this ripped ass mother trucker with tattoos on his arm punching my ass in the face. He faked being a tough guy for what? It didn't make him any manlier, that's for sure. And he actually made his face more punchable because of that ignorant arrogance. Acting tough and victim blaming like, what did I do? Bad day at church, I guess. Like, you can really tell that his prefrontal cortex is lacking. And I'm not actually gonna cover him because I thought he really wanted to make amends for his actions. Can we make amends? Can we make amends? Yeah, let's go. It was a joke. Where are you from? I'm from here. It was a joke. Us too, so go. I don't want to leave off on those terms. Hey, this is our family visiting, so you're ruining their time. I'm trying to make amends. You guys have a wonderful day. I'm sorry if I interrupted your day or anything. Yeah. Now that warrants respect for me. Being able to accept your wrongdoings and saying sorry you made a mistake is for me one of the strongest feat a human being can make. Because not all can do it. Even me. Sometimes I fail to accept that I was wrong. But most of the time I am really self-aware to recognize that I was wrong and not everyone can do that. And take note of that. Yeah, thank you, man. Hey, work on your punches, though. It's a little weak. Oh, uh, you can't catch me. <laughs> oh, shit. See? Not everyone can do it. He actually added another arrogant remark at the end there. Just another piece of poop. And to be honest, when he was saying sorry to them guys, I was smiling like a kid getting ice cream. But when he made that last remark, it made me cringe ultra hard. He actually made me do the opposite of turning the frown upside down because he actually made my smile turn vile and that remark made his apology look mega ass it displayed arrogance it just looks like he made that just for content you know and it's a good thing that that punch didn't leave him breathing through his cheeks just a gaping hole here so the our lesson for today is just five words don't be a nuisance prankster or you'll get what you truly deserve so that's all there is to it for now thanks for watching bye